These are the two simple problems that we are solving in waves concept. The first problem is two waves of wavelengths 50 and 51 produces 12 bits per second. Then what is the speed of the wave is right? So we can uh, write a formula first of all that number of the beats per second is difference between the frequencies n as v equal to n lambda n equal to v by lambda so what we can say is v by lambda 1 minus v by lambda 2 in the place of n 1 and 2 is the number of the beats per second that was given for as 12 so v by lambda 1 is 50 minus v by lambda 2 is 51 equal to 12 50 and 51 is LCM, 51V minus 50V equal to 12. So, V equal to 12 into 50 into 51, but be careful, 50 and 51 are in centimeters. So, to convert them into meters, I have to do with 10 power minus 4. So, when you multiply that, you will get an answer of 306 meter per second. So, answer for that first problem is 306. It's a simple problem. And now, let us solve the other problem that is there, IPMT 2000 question. It says, two sources are at finite distance apart. So, what he meant to say is, there is source 1, source 2, they are at a known distance, a fixed small distance. They emit a sound of wavelength lambda. So, this emits the wavelength lambda. This also emits the sound of wavelength lambda. An observer situated between them on line joining the approaches. So, here is an observer somewhere. Line 1 approaches one source with a speed u. So, he is maybe moving forward with a velocity u. Then the number of the beats heard by him. See. As he is approaching the source 2, this is like source in the state of rest and observer is in the state of motion. Then as per the Doppler effect, you can write an equation for the apparent frequency n dash as. As observer is approaching the source, its frequency increases v plus vo by v into n. Simultaneously, uh, he is going away from this first source as he is approaching the second source. He is obviously going away from the first source. Frequency heard from this first source n double dash. So, due to this n dash, due to this n double dash is as he is moving away from the source and n. Then the number of the beats per second is difference between the frequencies n dash is higher so n dash minus n double dash that is v plus v o by v and n minus v minus v o by v and n so what is common is n by v v plus v o minus v minus of minus is plus v naught v and v will cancel so 2 into velocity of the observer by velocity of the sound it is given that velocity of the observer is u by velocity of the sound is the answer for the problem. But velocity of the sound is not the given data. So, what we can do is as v equal to n lambda, of course, I have missed something, 2 v naught by v multiplied by n by v is there i have forgotten that multiplied sorry by v already i have written so multiplied by n i have to write v naught and v naught is 2 v naught by v i have written i have missed n that's why i am writing that n as a multiplication factor as v equal to n lambda in the place of n i can write v by lambda that implies Beats per second is the formula that you have got is 2u by v into n. But in the place of n, I can write v by lambda. v and v will cancel. So, 2u by lambda is the number of the beats per second. 
that's the answer for the problem so this problem is i need to say an application of doppler effect which says that apparent change in the frequency due to the relative motion of source and observer has been calculated using this concept that's how we have to solve these two problems thank you for watching